I want to turn to Afghanistan. It came up in the first hour of the debate, and we witnessed a, a poignant moment today on Capitol Hill honoring the soldiers who died in the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan. I do want to ask the vice president, uh, do you believe you bear any responsibility in the way that withdrawal played out? Well, I will tell you, I agreed with President Biden's decision to pull out of Afghanistan. Four presidents said they would, and Joe Biden did. And as a result, America's taxpayers are not paying the $300 million a day. We were paying for that endless war. And as of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this century. But let's understand how we got to where we are. Donald Trump, when he was president, negotiated one of the weakest deals you can imagine. He calls himself a deal maker. Even his national security advisor said it was a weak, terrible deal. And here's how it went down. He bypassed the Afghan government. He negotiated directly with a terrorist organization called the Taliban. The negotiation involved the Taliban getting 5,000 terrorists, Taliban terrorists released. And get this, no, get this. And the president at the time invited the Taliban to Camp David, a place of storied significance for us as Americans, a place where we honor the importance of American diplomacy, where we invite and receive respected world leaders. And this former president, as president, invited them to Camp David because he does not again appreciate the role and responsibility of the president of the United States to be commander in chief with a level of respect. And this gets back to the point of how he has consistently disparaged and demeaned members of our military, fallen soldiers, and the work that we must do to uphold the strength and the respect of the United States of America around the world. Vice President Harris, thank you. President Trump, your response to her saying that you began the negotiations yeah, thank with the you. Taliban. So if you take a look at that period of time, the Taliban was killing our soldiers, a lot of them, with snipers. And I got involved with the Taliban because the Taliban was doing the killing. That's the fighting force within Afghanistan. They don't bother doing that because, you know, they deal with the wrong people all the time. But I got involved. And Abdul is the head of the Taliban. He is still the head of the Taliban. And I told Abdul, don't do it anymore. You do it anymore. You're going to have problems. And he said, why do you send me a picture of my house? I said, you're going to have to figure that out, Abdul. And for 18 months, we had nobody killed. We did have an agreement negotiated by Mike Pompeo. It was a very good agreement. The reason it was good, it was we were getting out. We would have been out faster than them, but we wouldn't have lost the soldiers. We wouldn't have left many Americans behind and we wouldn't have left. We wouldn't have left eighty five billion dollars worth of brand new, beautiful military equipment behind. And just to finish, they blew it. The agreement said you have to do this, 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 this. And they didn't do it. They didn't do it. The agreement was was terminated by us because they didn't do what they were supposed to I, do. I want to move and on. And these people did the worst withdrawal and, in my opinion, the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. And by the way, that's why Russia attacked Ukraine, because they saw how incompetent she and her boss are. President Trump, thank you.